Okay, in this video I want to show you how you can create logins, much like the ones here. I want to show you how you can uh, uh, customize these, make your own, and uh, and so on. So let's get right here. I'm going to go into the parameters or settings page, the last one, fast running screen. Okay, um, so we'll go in here and you're going to see up here where it says users. Click on users. Okay, here's the view for our user logins. And um, the view you're looking at right now actually shows more than most people normally see. I am logged in as a service technician. That's my code up there. Um, so it allows me to see everything. If you're just an operator or one of these others or somebody who doesn't have permission to alter logins, you won't see this section here at all you only see this okay and um, I could uh, use this to edit alter and modify existing ones or add additional new logins by username or something like that instead of using these generic ones if you need to know exactly what these different logins allow you to do you can uh, look it up in your manual on the first page it'll talk about those passwords and uh, what each one of these can do uh, system admin pretty much all is uh, is just allowed to create logins for people and set their permissions and, and pretty much nothing else operators most restricted they can run the machine they can load a program but they can't edit they can't change anything all that sort of stuff is great I'll, I'll show you what that looks like a little later um, but these are the user parameters which you can change and alter um, and um, uh, unless you're an operator there's not much you can do in here but if you have permissions to edit these you'll, you'll see what we have here it's just this list and uh, the first one here right or left-handed okay this one you can select which your preference is and let me show you the difference okay in the current mode that's right-handed so, and um, let me go in the current mode this is right-handed where these parameters are all listed on the right side so because this is a touch screen you touch on those directly I'm going to show you what it's like if you go to left-handed okay I go on out I go back here and you just see it move the parameters over to the left-hand side okay not a major difference but for some of those it may, may be worthwhile okay so let's go back and I'm going to return this back to right-handed the next one is dimensions units basically intermetric essentially and it says US and European US being inch European being metric okay um, so mind you this this particular one you could have people who log into metric units or inch units. Uh, it's unlikely that you would mix the two, but you could do that. Okay, so that's dimension units. Next one is language. Okay, and this again is based on who's logged in. You can choose what language they can see, or what they can read. Okay, there's an awful lot of languages in here, and um, I'm not going to actually change it, but uh, you have a lot of flexibility. The most likely one is going to be Spanish okay it might get selected so now you can set language um, the file browser start path meaning meaning when I first start the machine what's the directory that it's gonna default to and it says home directory right now if I click on it it could be last used. so maybe you have a map drive on a network somewhere and um, if you use last use every time you start up that will be the default directory that shows so the home directory let me show you what that one looks like I'm gonna go out of here and under home directory like let's say I hit open okay this is my home directory this is the default with only machines C drive e control slash projects okay that's the home directory you could create your own um, or like we said use the map drive so that's what that controls okay so let's go back um, you can choose how you prefer to have this but home directory is normally the default um, startup project again this uh, meaning what project loads when you turn on the machine like right now 
system last year. So the last pro project being a program. So right now it's set the last one, uh, the system last used, okay? And there's one, the user last used. So maybe the last program you ran, okay? Uh, not a big deal here. This doesn't have a major impact on your day-to-day -day operating, but that's what that sets, okay? And um, I don't have anything on this one right now. So if you have the permissions to add um, users, okay, you could do so here. Like say, for instance, I'm going to click on operator and I get these views. I could delete a person, uh, delete one that's highlighted, add one, or view this one that's highlighted. So let's, let's look at that one and see what it does. So it comes up with this window and it has the name of the user. Okay, these are the standard uh, permissions, you know, the default ones that are preset and the ones that are obviously delivered with the system. Okay, so and the next one would be the password. If you wanted to reset the passwords from what the factory reset or re uh, had set them as, you would do so here. And then this last one is set user rights. Here you can see the rights that you can set. So project management. So in this case for an operator, it's read only. Product management, okay. Uh, again, only read only. Uh, tool setup, read only. Bend program, read only. I mean, I could read, can't edit. Run mode, could read only. Again, you can run it, but can't edit. Can't make corrections to the uh, material database, okay, or the bend database. Uh, and system settings, you can see them, but you can't touch them, can't or can't change them. So when you come up to here, you can see where it says read only, read or write, or inherited. Um, these are pretty obvious what they mean, read only, read write. But inherited basically means it's going to take the standard permissions of what you have selected here. These already have their standard permissions. And if you select inherited on that one, it'll give them the, uh, the standard default permissions here. Um, but what you can do is I can select this one to be inherited, but maybe one of these others I want it to be read only or read write. So you could really mix it up and uh, and, and have some options here. Um, of course, I can also give this a specific name. You want to give it to an um, operator by name. You can set it here. You can see. Uh, what they've done and, and restrict them if necessary. So pretty handy, uh, very useful to have. Um, so just be aware that you won't see this if you don't have permissions to edit any of these um, these logins. Um, that's in a nutshell is what um, these user logins is all about. So um, that's it. Thanks.